Right, to follow on from the previous video, we were looking at improper fractions being turned into mixed numbers. We're now going to look at mixed numbers being turned into improper fractions, so the reverse process. So I'm going to go through these two examples. The first one is 2 and 1 fifth. Okay? Now, 2 and 1 fifth could be represented like this. So we've got two full bars and one out of five shaded in the third bar. So two and one fifth. And that's how it could be represented. Now, in order to turn that into a, an improper fraction, what we actually have here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven fifths. Okay? So we know actually that two and one fifth is equivalent to eleven fifths. And this is the mixed number. So how can we get to that without having to draw a little diagram every single time we do one of these problems? So, what you can do is you can multiply the whole number, the 2, by the 5, and then add the 1. So 2 times 5 plus 1 over the 5. So, as they did in the previous example, in the previous video rather, the denominators stay the same. And you get that 2 times 5 is 10, plus 1 is 11 over 5. So, you multiply the large number by the denominator and add the numerator. So, 2 times bottom plus top. For 3 and 2 sevenths, let's try and do this then without the diagram. We multiply the 3 by the 7 and add the top. And the denominator, the 7, stays the same. So we end up with 3 7s of 21 plus 2 is 23 over 7. So this is 3 and 2 sevenths. So this is how you can turn a mixed number into an improper fraction. It's a little bit fiddly trying to remember exactly how the process works, but you can think about it as in how many sevenths go into 3, and that's 21, plus the remaining 2 is 23. And that is another way of thinking about how you can do this process.